Oh, well, a very, very good evening to you and welcome to ID World. My name is Genevieve and it is a pleasure to have your company on this hour because this hour is one of my favourite hours to do because it's all about being positive about something in your life. And we all want to be positive about something in our lives, don't we? Uh, the thing is, we plan for holidays, we plan for birthday parties, we even take out holiday insurance, don't we, to make sure if anything happens, we are protected. But the thing is, we don't plan for the inevitable. And when we do, we know that we are looking after our loved ones. Because what we're going to be talking about in this hour is planning for your loved ones when the inevitable happens. It's all about wills, and we'll be talking about lasting power of attorneys as well. Stay with us in the show because it is so interesting to find out what happens if you don't have a will in place or you don't have a lasting power of attorney, as opposed to when you do. It's about looking after your loved ones. It's about looking after and protecting what you've worked for all your life. It is about having all of your wishes taken care of and so much more. And not only that, but if you thought, oh, I'd like to make a will, but isn't it difficult? Don't I have to have lots of paperwork with me? Don't I have to know everything? Absolutely not, because that's what the planning crowd are here for, to look after you and look after me. Now, there are fantastic offers here tonight, easy and affordable. And we're going to talk about the show. We're going to talk about those fantastic offers in just a moment. But I want to introduce you to the lovely people from the planning crowd. We've got Ian Peace, director with us. Hello. And we've also got Helen Hill as well, legal services director. Well, it's so Hi. great to see you both again. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you know, I'm going to come to you first because um, can you tell me a little bit more about the services the planning crowd do for us? Yeah, of course. The planning crowd is, uh, it offers a comprehensive range of legal services, but we're specifically geared really to helping clients protect their assets mm -hmm. and look after the loved ones. So we specialize in end of life planning. Um, but as you've said, that's a positive thing. Yes. Um, it's not something we ask our clients to dwell on. We just ask them to sort of take that first step and put something in place. But when they do that with us, because of the range of services that we offer, a range from conveyancing through court of protection work, um, we even offer a bereavement service at the point of need to the family. So it isn't just a case of when we patient today. Um, I mean, when you go through those fees, the, 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 they're significant. But it, it is the time behind those as well. And it's interesting, the supervision fee alone, that, that isn't a one-off, that's an annual fee. So when you become a deputy, not only are you supervised by the court and have to almost justify your decisions. That's every year. Yeah, so that's, that's an ongoing fee. So you can pay this one-off drafting fee today mm -hmm. and know that you've got a document that's, for want of a better description, good to go that avoids all of that. So you oh, save all of that time, as importantly, all of that money. But more importantly, you've chosen someone that you trust who will step into your shoes. Yeah. And for a lot of people, that's really important. And it just, it just removes that, that financial and that, that burden of time. Because typically, Helen's right that lasting powers of attorney are often used as well for positive things. But the vast majority are used and registered because something's gone wrong. Yeah. So you don't want to make that time worse. So. Mm -hmm. Pick up the phone. Absolutely. And, and why wouldn't you? Why, you know, when you hear all about the, the kind of things you have to do, if you don't have these in place, even just that applying for the court of protection, um, whereas tonight you can just pick up the phone, talk to the lovely people in Lincoln, and they can make all the difference. And honestly, it's friendly. They're friendly. They're lovely. Um, and it's not that you have to have all the forms ready or fill in any forms. And it is... It is about your loved ones, isn't it? I mean, you know, it is about making it easier for them. And I would certainly, without hesitation, if someone said to me, would you like to make it, you know, you make life easier for your husband if anything happens? And I, because of my situation where both my parents passed away and, and, and my father quite young as well, I wouldn't take advantage of the fact that, oh, you know, it's never going to happen to me. I, I, you know, I'm, only, I'm in my late 30s. What? I would never think that now. And the thing is, it's a positive thing. It's not about being sort of, you know, sort of uh, been miserable about it. This is about something being positive. It's about something you do for you, for your loved ones. You think, I've done that. And be proud of yourself. You've done it. You know, put it away. Get on with the rest of your life. Go on your holidays. Maybe it's not as many as you in, but go on your holidays it's and enjoy stick. yourself. <laughs> it's going to stick. Um, but it is all about being positive. And, you know, when you've been in the situation like I have, um, where mom had to... You know, and it was the moment that my father was diagnosed. It wasn't, it wasn't like down the line. Once he was diagnosed, he couldn't do anything. You can't do anything then. Um, and with my mom, me and my sister had to, you know, would she have liked this? Would she? It was and such a hard time. And it's like Ian said, it's, it doesn't make it better, but it certainly makes it easier. 
and it's just a, it's just a phone call. It really is. Now, um, if you do want to go for these exclusive deals, which are fantastic, and I'll tell you, when I was saying about my mom, she didn't even know about lasting power of attorney, and I'm sure she would have went to a sister as well. So you get all the information from the planning crowd. A single will, 139 pounds, 59 pounds, or four interest-free payments of 14.75. Is that a cup of coffee a day, maybe? Uh, a single lasting power of attorney from £325 to £179 of £44.75. If you want to spread the cost over a few months, you can do. And a will and lasting power of attorney of £464, £199. And you've got four interest-free monthly payments of £49.75. That's a big saving there as well, isn't it? Um, 0333 600 to 600. And talk to those lovely people. All you need is a cup of tea. And uh, you can also have a call back if you want to. And if you text Wills, W I L L S, to 8802, somebody from Lincoln will call you back and have a lovely chat with you as well. Um, lots of people have already taken advantage of the exclusive offers here at Ida World, including Mrs. O'Hare. Now, she said, I watched the show about Wills and lasting power of attorney on the Ida World shopping channel. I had putting off making a will as I expected it to be hard work and quite difficult. But after watching the show, I decided now was the time. I was pleasantly surprised as a consultation with the planning crowd was actually very simple, easy and straightforward. I would recommend anyone thinking about a will to put it off no longer and make a call to the planning crowd. I'm glad that I did. Thank you so much to Mrs. O'Hare. Helen, can you explain again why it's important, because we're going to go and talk about wills again, why it's important to have your own will? Um, there's so much that a will can do. Uh, a lot of people understand that a will basically distributes your estate. So everything that you own, when you're no longer around, you can decide who that ends up with. Um, a lot of people don't understand how much more a will can do. Mm. So you're not only distributing your assets, you're choosing who is going to deal with that when you're not around to do so. So you're appointing mm. your executors, which is really important that you, again, choose someone that you know and trust. Um, the will can also appoint guardians. So if you've got young children, and we don't we don't like to think about something happening to us while they're still under 18. Um, but if, if it does, you want to appoint guardians and choose someone course, that you yes. know to look after your children. So that's really important. You can leave gifts in your will, whether it's cash gifts or specific items, family heirlooms, or even charitable donations. You can make all those within your will. You can include your funeral directions, as you were mentioning. Funeral, probably one, yes. of the, one of the worst things is not knowing um, what you would have wanted. You know, it's like, would mum would have wanted this, or would dad would have wanted this. Absolutely. If you document them within your yeah. will, it's clear, and you've made your wishes known then. So Can't there are so them. many things mm. that, that a will can do. Let's have a look actually at a government will, um, if you haven't put your own will in place. So there's no executors. Uh, children will inherit at age 80. Well, maybe you, you, maybe you don't want that, you know, but there's nothing you can do now. Uh, children may become a ward of court. The rules of intestacy dictate who inherits. Now, you might have someone who you particularly don't want to inherit, but the rules of intestacy dictate who inherits. No provision for cash gifts or heirlooms, and funeral wishes and organ donation, it's not catered for. Um, I'm going to go to you, Ian, because... So what happens if you pass away without a valid will of your own in place? Uh, the technical terms you said to have died in testate, which means that your estate, so everything that you own when you pass away, is distributed according to the rules of intestacy. Uh, now, those rules, believe it or not, started out life in 1925. Oh, things have changed. I think things have changed a yes. little bit. It's, yeah. um, I, you know, we're not surprised today if we speak to a client that may be on the second marriage yeah. and they may have children from previous relationships. And this may sound melodramatic, but, but literally the rules of intestacy can rip the, that family apart. That might be a... Uh, I've heard the phrase blended family. That might be a you know a perfect mm -hmm. perfect family unit now, and everyone might think that everything's okay. But unless they actually plan, mm -hmm. and and choose themselves what they would like to happen after they're no longer here, once the rules of intestacy comes in, because that's based on your bloodline and your marital status, it can be potluck as to who actually ends up inheriting. Certainly, if you've got children from previous relationships. So you can have a scenario where if Mr. passes away first and everything goes to his wife, when his wife dies, all the children from, from both people might expect to inherit, but actually it would only be the children of the wife they inherited. So they call it sideways disinheritance because effectively the inheritance moves across and doesn't always go down your bloodline. And it's very, very rare that 
parents, unless they specifically want to exclude the children, want that to happen. Of course, But you'd yes. be amazed how many times that happened. And not, and not through anything malicious and not on purpose, but just because, again, they were either unaware or they didn't quite get around to it. And mm -hmm. that's why, again, we're so keen on putting this information out there. Because once it's so done... important. Yeah, it, mm. it, that problem is, is huge. One of the biggest reasons for, for relationship breakdowns in families is bereavement with family members arguing about what they believe should happen and actually what does happen. And all of that can be avoided, but the disinheritance side of it, you know, the thought of, you know, the, the thought, Jeannie is, is younger than me and incredibly attractive. You ask anyone that we speak to, and I am punching above my weight. So, you know, if I passed away yesterday and Jeannie met somebody else and we didn't have the plans in place that we've got, and then Jeannie passed away, you know, if she remarried, my estate, everything that I've worked for, would go to Jeannie and then go to this mythical bloke. I already hate him. I don't know who he is. <laughs> and now he's got all your things. He's got everything you But own. when he passed away, yeah. everything would go to his oh, family. Of course, of course, yes. So my boys are over here with nothing. And that happens all the time. But, you know, we can... We, we, mm -hmm. The will is the starting point. There's so much more we can do for people to ensure that their assets are protected and go to the people they want it to. But if you, if, if, if you don't fit the 1925 model, mm -hmm. then you need to make your own way. Absolutely. And, and to, speaking of families as well, Helen, what happens to children if both parents pass away at the same time? If, if they haven't made a will um, and they haven't appointed guardians within a will, then effectively somebody has to step forward to take on that role. Um, and it might be the person that you wanted to, or it might not. It might mm -hmm. be somebody else. Or there might be several people that step forward and then start arguing about who you would have wanted your children to live with and what school you'd have wanted them to go to and how you would have wanted them to be brought yeah. up. Unless you write your own will and put those directions in there as to who is going to bring up your children, effectively, um, the courts decide. And Ooh. if there's arguments going on or if there's nobody that steps forward, the children could actually become what's known as a ward of court. Mm. And oh, we just saw that on the list, yeah. And that's, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, nobody wants that. And a, a simple phone call to the planning crowd, of course, can make a difference. Ian, I'm sure many people are now thinking about, you know what, actually, yes, I, I, I should make a will. I'm I hope so. to Ian and Helen, yeah. and I, I should make a will. And, and I saw one the other day, they're probably thinking, and um, it was in a newsagent's, and it was a template. So why don't I just go and get one of those and, and, and write my own will? <sighs> Uh, I, I think, you know, we, we live in, in such an age of information now that we can all kid ourselves that we're experts in, in any field that we want. You, you can go to a search engine and type any subject in and get information now. Um, the harsh reality is, you know, this is a legal document that is the last thing that you effectively do on this planet. And you want that to be right. Um, we offer a fully advised, fully insured service and we're experienced. This is what we do every day. Mm -hmm. So unless you are a qualified will writer, um, I wouldn't take that chance. And, and quite often, the problem is when you don't take advice, you, 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 do, you can't know what you don't know. So that's why we give you this, this advice and allow you to make an informed decision. You'll be amazed how many people are like, oh, really? And, and you know, quite often, um, they're incredibly glad that they spoke to us because we've pointed something out that they couldn't possibly have known themselves. Yeah. I drive a car every day, I know how to start it and I know how to make it go forward and how to stop, but I don't know how it works, so I take it to a mechanic if there's a problem with it or it needs a service. If I have a toothache, I go to a dentist, I don't go to a search engine and think, how do I pull this tooth out? And so, you know, again, I don't mean to be facetious, but I just would not take that risk. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. This is such a vital thing that if you're going to do it, please do it right. Do it right and with the offers that we have as well and how easy it is to do with the planning crowd with you the whole way um, from, you know, from start right through. Do it now because it is very important. Um, and uh, we do have, of course, a lot of people who watch the Ida World Shopping Channel who looked at the planning crowd and said, you know what, I am going to do this. And Mrs. Howell did. She was so happy she wrote into us. I watched the planning crowd in Ida World and thought that the will and lasting power of attorney were both explained well. Um, as it all sounded straightforward, I decided to make the call there and then and took advantage of the offer. I found the whole process very easy and Sarah was very helpful during my telephone conversation. After speaking with my chosen attorney, I have some further questions and these were all answered promptly and completely. I would recommend anyone considering putting their affairs in order to speak with the planning crowd. Thank you, Mrs. Howell. It's you that we need to hear from, you that have availed of these exclusive offers and let's take a look at them right now. Uh, so the 
the single will £139.59.1475. £59 and if you want to divide up the cost just over four months, it's done. And you save £80. And if you want to go for a single lasting power of attorney, £325 is now £179 with the Ida World offer. And if you want to spread the cost to £44.75 over the four months, you save £146. Will and lasting power of attorney, £464 down to £199. And you can spread the cost over four interest-free monthly payments. And you're also making a saving of £265. And uh, don't forget, of course, 0333 600 to 600 if you want to talk to the lovely people in Lincoln right now. Um, but also, if you want to text the word WILLS to 88802, you can do that. It's W-I-L-L-S to 88802. And lots of you write in now and tell us why you went with the planning crowd, why you love the service and how easy. And lots of you talk about how easy it was and how surprised you were. Um, including Mrs. Willems. Mrs. Willems said, I saw the planning crowd recommending wills and lasting power of attorney documents on either world. Their offers looked amazing, and so I called them during the show to take advantage of the exclusive prices. I spoke to Daisy, who explained the whole process and took me through everything. She made me feel incredibly at ease and helped me to understand it in simple terms. She was true to her word, and I felt supported throughout the whole process, and nothing was too much trouble. They even visited me at, the, at my home to ensure I understood the paperwork and was happy with everything. I now feel secure in the knowledge that my wishes will be carried out and my family cared for when the day comes. I highly recommend the planning crowd to help anyone with their estate planning needs. Uh, Helen, you're getting, we're getting a massive discount here on um, you know, the standard product fees today. This is really exceptional value, isn't it? It, it really is. It's so affordable, especially with the four payments. It, it just makes it so much easier. And we've seen the costs that are associated when you don't plan. But I think what you can't put a price on is, is the fact that you are saving emotional distress mm. in the future. Mm -hmm. and, and you can't put a value on that. Absolutely. So, yes, the prices that we're putting forward today are, are really good and really affordable, but I think there's much more to it than that as well. Absolutely. And Ian, I'm sure lots of people have listened to the show, have said, you know what, I really do want to go for this right now with those great deals. What do they need right now? Take that all important first step. Uh, pick up the phone, phone the 0333-600-2600 number, speak to one of our team in, uh, in Lincoln, the client care team, uh, uh, you know, really want to help people. They understand everything that we do and now it helps them. And the process is really simple. We We'll, we'll talk to you, we'll, we'll help answer any questions that you've got. Once we've made an appointment with you, we then send you a welcome pack out so you get more information and, and basically you get some guidance on what type of things we're going to be going through with you. And then when we do the telephone consultation with you, we hold your hand through the whole process. And any questions you may have, you can call up any time. Any time. We, we can only produce your legal documents when you're happy with the instructions that you've given us. Our duty of care mm -hmm. to you is to make sure that we've given you the appropriate advice so that what you get at the end is what you need and what you want. And only when you're happy will we produce your documents and for Mrs. you. And Mrs. Malloy, now they're going, they wrote in to tell us that they were very happy as well. Mr. and Mrs. Malloy, I should say, let's have a look at this. A friend recommended us to the planning crowd. The consultant that dealt with our case was extremely knowledgeable and helpful. We thought it might be a bit daunting and time-consuming to sort everything out, but the planning crowd made the whole process very simple and straightforward. We now have the peace of mind that we have looked after each other and our two young daughters, plus the planning crowd's dedicated aftercare. We just talked about that service, which we can simply update our wills as and when our circumstances change. So things change, the planning crowd are there for you to update as well. Let's have a look at everything that is included. Now, so remember the government will? Well, let's have a look at making your own. You choose your own executors and trustees. You choose at what age your children and uh, grandchildren will inherit. You document who you want to be guardians of your children. You decide who inherits from your state, not the rules of intestacy. Uh, just as importantly, you can document who you don't want to inherit. That's very important to, to as well. Um, now, you can leave specific gifts, legacies, and charitable donations. You specify your funeral wishes and you can even document your organ donation preferences in comparison to the government will my word isn't that worth it um, now I just want to remind you of course of the exclusive offers we have here 
at our dear world with the planning crowd. Don't wait. Why would you when you can do something so positive for you and your family? A single will, 139 is 59 pounds, and you can go for four interest free monthly payments of 14.75. A single lasting power of attorney is 325 usually, and your exclusive offer tonight. Quoting TPC 009 is £179 or £44.75 on four payments and a will and lasting power of attorney. We've heard all about it, how important it is. £199 down from £464 and you can even spread the cost, £49.75 over four interest-free monthly payments. Now you can call the number at the bottom of the screen or you can add the callback service if you want to as well. And all you have to do is text the word WILLS to 88802 and someone will call you back from the lovely people at the uh, customer care team. And speaking of lovely people at uh, the care team or the client care team in Lincoln, I think we've got Gareth on the phone at the moment. Hello, Gareth. Hi, you all right? I'm fine, Gareth. How are you tonight? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well. Now, Gareth, I understand you must be very, very busy there at the moment. Yes, it's incredibly busy. It's going well. I, I'm aware that uh, a lot of the viewers are um, going through to the answer phone system, so I would like to just say that we will get round to calling them back as long as they register their interest. Oh, thank you for that, Gareth. So literally, it is very busy. Might be a good idea to text Wills as well uh, if you want to, to triple eight zero two, and someone will obviously call you back. Now, Gareth, are there any sort of questions that are standing out tonight? Yeah, we're getting quite a few questions from people with different family situations. So it might be something you could clarify with Helen as how, we, how we're able to assist people with a different of a, a variety of different family scenarios. Oh, absolutely, Gareth. Now, I'll let you get back. I know you're very busy. I don't want to keep you from the lovely people calling right now, but thank you very much and speak to you soon, Gareth. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. A great question, actually, that's coming in. I I'm going to come to you first, Helen. Um, so a lot of people talking about different family situations. Yeah. And, of course, these days, there are loads of different situations. Yeah, and exactly. And you, you were able to, to advise on all of that. Yeah, of course. I mean, the, the service that we're providing is a fully advised service. So what that means is that you will have your own consultant uh, dedicated to, to looking after you and making sure your documents are correct. And whether your consultation takes 20 minutes or three hours, they will talk you through it. We can deal with all sorts of circumstances. Um, there's nothing that we've come across that we can't deal with. There'll be people sat at home saying, oh, well, mine's a bit different or mine's a bit difficult or awkward or, or something's, you know, mm -hmm. they won't have heard of this before. Give we us have. a call. We have. <laughs> You've heard yeah. everything, I'm we sure. Um, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the practicalities of a lasting power of attorney? Yeah, of course. So we've talked about getting the documents drafted and that's the important thing that we want to encourage people to do today because you can only do that while you've got the capacity to do so. So that's really important. Once you've got those documents produced, um, you can then either register them or you can store them safely and register them at the time of need. Now, they have to be registered with the Office of the Public Guardian before they can be used. Mm -hmm. um, and there may be a fee involved, depending on your circumstances, um, that the Office of the Public Guardian charges. But we can advise you of that as well during your consultation. So everything is but taken But the key care thing of. is get them produced, yes. get the documents produced, whether you register them now or you want to register mm -hmm. them in the future, make sure they're stored somewhere safe so that people have got access to them. And we can talk to you about your options for that as now, well. Now, again, you know, if anyone's maybe just joined the show, they, we, they, they've heard about the lasting power of attorneys and, and the wills, what happens if you don't have these documents in place? If you haven't got a will in place, then your estate is dealt with under the, the laws of intestacy, which as we've seen throughout the show, yeah. it doesn't suit everyone's circumstances. And the key thing is, is that your family won't ever know what you really wanted. Yeah. So that's the important thing. If you haven't got a lasting power of attorney in place and you're ever in those un unfortunate circumstances where someone has to act on your behalf, then they will need to apply to the court protection, which again, we've talked about, it's such an expensive and oh, lengthy yes. process. That's just the and Yeah, mm. and at, at a time when you've already got so much to deal with. Absolutely. It's so simple to put these documents in place. It's a really easy process. Now, we're going to show you uh, the benefits of making your own will versus the government will. We talked about that before. Uh, you can see with benefits of making your own will, you choose your administrators. 
on your estate. There's no executives with a government will. You decide what children, your, what age your children inherit. You select your gardens. You choose the beneficiaries and exclusions. You can leave specific gifts. There's no provision for gifts with the government uh, will. And funeral do, uh, document funeral wishes and organ donation preferences. They don't even have that with the government. You've no executors. And the difference is £59 for a will. And you can even divide that up as well. Um, you know, and also don't forget, of course, you can have that lasting power uh, of attorney as well if you do want to go for that on those fantastic offers also. Um, how, can I just ask you, I mean, these are amazing prices tonight. They really are. How are you able to do such fantastic prices? I think because of the... Uh because of the size of the organisation that we've become over the years through helping people and through shows like this, as we keep saying we want to get the information out there but also make it affordable, um, which is why we, we do this exclusive show um, for that very reason. Um, and the more clients that we help is reciprocal because then we can help more clients yeah. and that's how it grows and that's why we've got over 100,000 clients today. My word. We manage about £360 million in assets. Oh, my word. Um, we carry insurance to the tune of £5 million yeah. so that basically our clients know that they're dealing with a reputable company mm -hmm. um, with a solid background, you know, and, and the right experience and the right level of qualifications to do the job properly. So um, it, it is exceptional value. Um, the bottom line is we can do it because we do this show and because we want to get that information out there. And it is out there now and yeah. so many people taking up those offers right now as we know. Helen, it's incredible value for money, £1.66 a day. I can't get a couple, I, I, I can't get a latte for that to be honest no. with you. No, that is absolutely. incredible. We're, we're going to have to speak to yeah. our coffee man. <laughs> It's much more expensive than that. Yeah, right. yeah exactly. Yeah. £1.66 a day. Let's take a look at those offers for you right now. Uh, for a will from £139 to £59 and, of course, those uh, interest-free payments as well of £14.75. A single lasting power of attorney, £325, and that is £179. Your four interest-free payments there, £44.75. And the will and the lasting power of attorney, that is the biggest saving and of course, that's a saving of £265. It's £199 down for 464. Uh, don't forget you can call the number at the bottom of the screen. Gareth and the rest of the team are ready and waiting to take your call. Uh, they are very busy, we've heard from Gareth. So um, you could also text the word WILLS to 88802. And someone from the planning crowd in Lincoln will give you a call back. And you need nothing. A cup of tea if you want to have it. And that is it. Um, Ian. I suppose it's a question that uh, we've kind of answered throughout the show, but once again, who should have a will? There's a really strong argument that everybody should have a will. Um, this sounds quite cold, but essentially, um, your account needs to be closed down by somebody when you're no longer here. So people think that they might not have anything, but it's interesting, every time we speak to someone, there's always a reason to document something. Um, I think one of the reasons that people don't go ahead, as I said, is they think that it might be complex, complicated, long-winded, and it really isn't and doesn't have to be. But make that all-important first phone call mm -hmm. and speak to one of our qualified uh, client care team and they'll be able to guide you through and then you can make an informed decision whether you want to do it or not. And everybody that does is grateful that they've done so. Absolutely. Uh, do take advantage of those offers and remember, of course, I'm just going to recap to you now, uh, to making your own will. You choose your executors, you choose what age your children or grandchildren inherit, you document who you want to be, the guardians of your children, and all of that there. You decide who inherits from your estate. And just as importantly, you document who you don't want to inherit. You can leave specific gifts, legacies and charitable donations. You specify your funeral wishes and you can document your organ donation preferences. And you don't need anything. On Honestly, you don't even need a pen and paper. Um, I want to say a massive thank you to Ian and Helen for joining us tonight and really just making everything so easy and explaining everything to us also. Uh, we hope we've answered all your questions. Do give the, the lovely people in Lincoln a call right now and make that positive step for you and your family. Thank you for watching. You take care and I'm sure we'll see you very soon again. Bye-bye.